Visa Lestadis was in 52 kilo Levijal, bout number 6 in the men's flyweight division, 52 kilograms. in Thailand in the red corner representing Thailand, Tistan Panmol. Oh, here comes the talented 19-year-old Titisan Panmot from Thailand, 2018 World Youth Champion, who has had a terrific dis display in the tournament so far, preparing for his fourth bout of Amman 2020. And he's facing his counterpart as a world champion from the senior tournament because this is Shakabadin Zoyrov, the tournament number two seed, ranked number two in the world. He's the reigning Olympic champion as well. So what an opportunity for the teenager, Titisan Panmot of Thailand, to face off against the reigning Olympic champ who never stops moving. They're the judges scoring this one. So this is action in the men's 52 kilogram flyweight division. The second semi-final between two incredibly talented boxers at different stages of their careers. The man wearing red, still a teenager, 18 years of age, representing 19 years of age, representing Thailand. And his Titisan Panmod. His opponent, 27-year-old Shakabudin Zoyarov, the reigning world and Olympic champion. And what an experience for the young teenager to be sharing a ring with the very best. Yeah, it sure is, isn't it? It's just, you know, at this stage of his, of his career and his position, where he is right now, I'm quite sure that this is going to be massively advantages, advantages for the young man in red going forward to Tokyo 2020, Ronald. But make no mistake, as he lands a good right hand, given the manner in which he's conducted himself here, yeah. he'll fancy himself to win this. Of course he will. <laughs> he's been brilliant throughout, really, hasn't he? And, you know, he's he's done a little bit of everything really well. Where we know what we're going to get from Zoyrov. As he... Takes a left yes. hand there. Yeah. As Panmot switches southpaw momentarily. Effective stuff. Good left cross, though, from Zoyrov. And another good left hook as well. The man with the special boots. <laughs> good left hook there, round the side and looks out the ring. This man's feet and bouncy style and rhythm. Actually quite tough to get your head around to sometimes the way that he moves. We're convinced that he's got super special boots, <laughs> me and Ronald, up here. Oh, he takes a good right hand to the chest. Again, Panmot really fancies this. From Panmot. And it is the score, a scoring area. The scoring area runs from the, the body belt up over the torso, onto the shoulders, around the ears, and of course the front of the face. And that perhaps the key word, Alex, is that everything has to be to the front. And that's why you see you see shots, rabbit punches spraying around yeah. the rear of the head or to the, the liver around the back. Yeah. Well, they will be ruled illegal blows. Of course. It's just that a lot of people do forget that punches to the, the front of the chest and the chest itself is a scoring area. A very good round. Yeah, very good. From both boxes. 
Zoyarov on the front foot more than we've seen so far in this tournament as he looked to impose himself on his teenage opponent. Yep. And Panmok gave the sign to his corner that he was quite happy with that first round. Good right hand to the body from Panmok, although Zyrov did score with that left through the middle on three or four occasions. Also the left hook around the side as the left hook followed by the right jab, which he does favour. He'll lead with the left hand, spring into distance and come back with the right hand. Well, look at that. Wow. Four wow. one split in favour of Panmot. Wow. Taking it for judges two, three, four and five against the reigning world and Olympic champion. What an opening three minutes. So into the second round then. And how will... The reigning Olympic champion respond after conceding the first round on a 4-1 split because look at that, he's trying to get onto the front foot but Panmot keeping composed and yep. trying to pick him off as he advances. Yeah, he's a lovely cool little customer, Panmot. We've seen that throughout. Not getting himself flustered here at all. As Zoyrov presses forward, trying to land sharp shots to start out. And send a subconscious message to the young man in red. Don't forget, buddy, I am the world champion. Look at that right hand to the body from Panmot. But Panmot not showing Zoyrov the respect <laughs> that Zoyrov probably feels he deserved. Maybe just forget, forgot to push that magic button on his boots <laughs> before the first round. But again, he's trying to impose himself yeah. on a teenager in yeah, red. Really is, yeah. But look, look at, at that for a counter. counter right hand from the man in yes. red. And again, terrific punch picking wow. from Titisan Panmot. Scoring time and again against the advancing boxer in blue. Oh, good lunging right hand that really was after the counter punch success with the same hand. Zyrov still not quite finding the mark here. And this young man from Thailand. Just catching him that little bit cleaner. Dangerous head there. Yeah, well done, ref. That's when you want to see the refs intervene for things like that. Keep the guys safe, keep them correct, keep them right. Nice shot. On the break, yeah. a left hand out of the southpaw stance and Panmot onto the front foot. Did take a stiff right jab there yeah. from Zoyrov. But Zoyrov hasn't been able to score with any heavy punches against the teenager and I thought he would look to impose his physicality yeah. right from the opening belt. Well, quick off the mark there, the young man in red. But again, as he did throughout Yekaterinburg last year and as he's done in portions of this tournament, Zoyrov has been busy, but his feet have been busier than his hands. Of course, yeah. And here, he's having difficulty landing any sustained effective punches despite the activity with his feet and bouncing up and down. Yeah. Look at Panmot driving back. So impressive. And some of his punch selection that he's chose has been so clever as well. Beautiful right hand to the body from Panmot, right above the belt line. And again, this is where Zoyrov, he's got to get busier with his fists as well as his feet here. Panmot because he's also, been out yeah. Panmot also in this round, Ronald, has flicked that light jab out to the head while dropping the right hand to the body like that. So that's very effective for against someone like Zyrov, whose head moves continuously with his feet. Body a little bit more stationary. Panmot choosing the jab to the head, followed by the straight right hand to the body, which is difficult to outmaneuver. So very smart punch picking there from this younger, far less experienced man compared to the man in blue. Well, let's hope he's been rewarded for a very good second round as well. It's a 4-1 split has. for the second time. So, for, But the scoring difference, so for three judges, Panmot leads 20 points to 18. He is in a commanding position and three minutes away from what would be a considerable upset given the status of these two boxes. Panmot sending a message that he is for real and his Tokyo qualification has been no fluke. 
Well, Shaka Bedin Zoira of the reigning World and Olympic champion is trailing by two points for three of the five scoring judges. Having been outpointed in both one and two by four judges scores to one. Look at Panmot keep his composure under pressure and score with some eye-catching shots during the course of his clusters. Zoira, as Panmot now looking to back him up. Looking for the left cross now. But the right hand to the body once again is a scoring shot for the teenager in red. Really is boxing magnificently Titisan Panmod as he scores with a straight right to the body once again. Beautiful counter right hand straight to the back of the head of Zoyrov. Zoyrov, as it is one, pushing out his mouthpiece. Sometimes leave you with the leaves you with the impression that he's feeling the pace as he looks to take in more oxygen. But Panmot so composed and the onus is on the man in blue to chase this contest here. But he's being met with a very cool-headed oh, nice. customer. Right hand lead was a nice shot. Whips that right hand down to the body. And Zorov is being comprehensively outboxed during the course of this first half of the final round. Blocked with the gloves, that left hand from Zorov. Nice defense with the right glove once again from Panmot, who is oozing confidence here. Nice right jab from the Olympic champ. Credit to Zorov. He's remaining in pursuit yeah, of his man, sure but he cannot catch him cleanly. Two minutes now. But nothing that we could say, wow, that's put Zorov back in this bout. Scuffing blows, hitting gloves, but certainly looking busier. But the little man in red just doing enough not to be totally outboxed and lands a lovely counter right hand there. So you know, flicks out a light jab. Panmot just moves ever so slightly right and comes back with his own right hand. Beautiful right hook counter there as well. He's out Zyrov and Zyrov. <laughs> <laughs> So final 30 seconds and short of Zoyrov finding a finishing shot here, which isn't really his forte. Well, he's going to be on the wrong end of this decision and it, from his perspective, and it will be Panmot going through to the championship final with the reigning Olympic bronze medalist Hu Jiang Hun, Hu Jing Huan of China awaits. 10 second clapper has sounded very good and what, what a performance a my goodness that is absolutely sensational from Titisan Panmot he will undoubtedly have his hand raised as the victory it may be a split decision yeah but what a performance Shaka Badin Zoyrov well he's through to his second successive Olympic game so he has the opportunity to retain his title but he's just been made hip to a teenager who believes in himself totally and utterly. Very good display indeed from the 2018 World Youth Champion. Let's head to centre ring and get the announcement after a brilliant display by the man in red. And the winner by split decision in the red corner from... What a moment for Titisan Panmot and doesn't he love it? That's right, you are the man because you've just <laughs> beaten the man. Shaka Bedin Zoyrov, the reigning world and Olympic champion, has been outpointed by a 19-year-old teen sensation man. from Thailand. An absolutely fantastic performance, defeating his second seed of the tournament in his fourth bout of the tournament. A magnificent run through to the championship final. And the man who took 2018 World Youth Championship gold is sending a message to the seniors <laughs> that I am for real. And I'm going to see you in Tokyo 2020. Brilliant. What a display. Absolutely fantastic. How can I add to that? What Ronald has just said. Brilliant stuff. Performed so well throughout to keep his composure under that kind of pressure, knowing who he was up against, Ronald, is brilliant stuff.